Director Cummings, could you pass on to your agents and all support personnel how much we appreciate their efforts to defend the country? We're going to set a uh, record for questions asked and answered in six minutes and 54 seconds, if I can. Do you agree with me if sequestration goes back into effect next year, it would be devastating to the FBI? Yes. And it's due to do so unless Congress changes it? That's, I've, I've been told that. Okay. Do you agree with me that ISIL uh, loses the caliphate, these people will go out throughout the world and become terrorist agents, and the threat of terrorism to the homeland is going to get greater over time, not smaller? Yes. It, it'll diminish in that the, their power to put out their media to the troubled people in the country will decrease, but the, the hardened killers flowing out of the caliphate will be a big problem. So from a funding point of view, terrorism is not going to get better. It's probably going to get worse. I think that's fair to say. Uh, did you ever talk to Sally Yates about her concerns about uh, General Flynn being compromised? I did. I don't know whether I can talk about it um, in this forum, but yet the answer is yes. But she had concerns about General Flynn, and she expressed those concerns to you? Correct. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Do you stand by your House testimony on March 20th that there was no surveillance of the Trump campaign that you're aware of? Correct. You would know about it if they were, is that correct? I think so, yes. Okay. Uh, Carter Page, was there a FISA warrant issued regarding Carter Page's activity with the Russians? I can't answer that here. Did you consider Carter Page a agent of the campaign? Same answer. Can't answer that here. Okay. Uh, do you stand by your testimony that there is an active investigation, counterintelligence investigation, regarding Trump campaign individuals in the Russian government as to whether or not they collaborate. You said that in March. Is to that see if there true? was any coordination yeah. between the Russian yeah. effort and, right. and people. Is that still going on? Yes. Okay, so nothing's changed. You stand by those two statements. Correct. But you won't tell me about Carter Page. Not here, I won't. Okay. Uh, the chairman mentioned that Fusion, uh, are you familiar with Fusion? I know the name. Okay. Are they part of the Russian intelligence apparatus? I can't say. Okay. Do you agree with me that if Fusion was involved in preparing a dossier against Donald Trump, that would be interfering in our election by the Russians? I, I, I don't want to say. Okay. Do you agree with me that Anthony Weiner of 2016 should not have access to classified information? Uh, yes, that's a fair statement. Would you agree with me that if that's not illegal, we've got really bad laws? Well, if he hadn't... Right. Well, would, he got it somehow. It would be illegal if he didn't have appropriate clearance. Well, do you agree with me he didn't have appropriate clearance? He did. If he did have appropriate clearance, that would even be worse. I don't believe at the time we found that on his laptop that he had any kind of clearance. Yeah, I agree. So for him to get it should be a crime. Somebody should be prosecuted for letting Anthony Weiner have access to classified, classified information. Does that make general sense? It could be a crime. It would depend upon what the people... Well, do you call. agree with me? It should be. <laughs> that anybody that lets Anthony Weiner had classified information probably should be prosecuted. Well, if our laws don't cover that, they probably should. Do you there's no Anthony me? Weiner statute, but it is... There's already okay. a statute. <laughs> well, maybe we need one. There's okay. already a statute. All right, good. There's I already just, a statute. I just wonder it. how you can get classified information and not be a crime by somebody. Uh, unmasking, are you familiar with that? I'm familiar with that term. Okay. Has the Bureau ever requested unmasking of an American citizen caught up in incidental collection? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I did it this week in connection with an intelligence report. All right. Before I authorize, reauthorize 702, and I'm a pretty hawkish guy, I want to know how unmasking works. Are you aware of any requests by the White House, anybody in the Obama administration, to unmask American citizens that were caught up in incidental surveillances? in 2015 or 2016? I'm not. I'm not aware of any request to the FBI. Would you know? What they, who would they make the request to? Well, they could make it to, to anyone in the FBI who was... Uh, what about the NSA? Wouldn't you make it to the NSA? Sure, if it was an NSA report. Okay. I, and I've read in the media and heard about NSA reports. When you ask for unmasking, who do you ask? Do you go to the NSA to ask that somebody be unmasked? When I want... For example, I'll give you an example. I got a report this week that said... Uh, U.S. company number one 
Right. And it had been removed. And I said, I believe I need to know the name of that company. Who do you ask? So I ask my intelligence briefer, who works okay. for the PDB staff, say, I'd like to know that. And then she goes and asks the owner of the information. Which the, would be the NSA? Well, in this case, I think it was CIA information okay. saying the director Does the to... owner of the information record requests for unmasking? I believe the NSA does. CIA, I, I don't know about CSA. NSA definitely does. But there should be a record somewhere in our government for a request to unmask, regardless of who made the request. I think that's right. Uh, is it fair to say that very few people can make requests for unmasking? I mean, it's... I can't go and make that request as a senator, can I? Sure. It's a fairly small group, the, the consumers, which I am, yeah. of that uh, small set Is of... Is the National Security Council within that group that can make this request, or do you know? I don't know for sure. I think the National Security Advisor certainly can. Okay. Uh, when it comes to Russia, is it fair to say that the government of Russia actively provides safe haven to cyber criminals? Yes. Is it fair to say that the Russian government is still involved in American politics? Yes. Is it fair to say we need to stop them from doing this? <laughs> yes, fair to say. Do you agree with me the only way they're going to stop is for them to pay a price for interfering in our political process? I think that's a fair statement. Yeah, okay. So what we're doing today is not working. They're still doing it. They're doing it all over the world, aren't they? Yes. So what kind of threat do you believe Russia presents to our democratic process, given what you know about Russia's behavior of late? Well, certainly, the, in my view, the greatest threat of any nation on Earth, uh, given their intention and their capability. Uh, do you agree that they did not change the actual vote tally, but one day they might? I agree that I, very much we found no indication of any change in vote tallies. Uh, there was efforts aimed at voter registration systems, but I suppose in theory, hard in the United States, the, the beauty of our system is it's a bit of a hairball, and all different kinds of systems and, and you know, elderly... Have they done this in other countries where they actually tampered with the vote? My, my understanding is they have attempted it in other countries. And there's no reason they won't attempt it here if we don't stop them over time. I think that's fair. Thank you.